Hey guys, I got on here and welcome to a Fallout 4 tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool little accessory sort of thing for your settlements. It just looks cool. I have one in most of my settlements, just all different sorts. It's basically just a statue stand. Let me just get out my power armor so you can get a better look when I'm building. So basically, it's an extremely simple thing to do, but it's quite resource heavy, if you don't know what I mean by that. You have to use your quite a lot of resources for it. I got a pet death claw. Again, wasteland workshop. Good. Very good. Right, let's get right into this. Um what you're gonna need to do is place one of the new small concrete floors. By the way, you will need wasteland workshops to make this properly. You could make it on normal one, but you'd have to no clip things. What you're gonna need to do is place a small floor, one of the metal ones. Or wooden ones it doesn't really matter but you're gonna need to place half concrete walls all the way around it's got to be on the outside not clipped on top of the floor it's got to be clipped on the outside of the floor if you don't do this it might not align properly later for when I add lights and stuff uh, the corners are meant to be left don't like open by the way you're gonna have to remove two walls you can scrap them or store them or just move them out of the way like I did then what you're going to need to do is not do what I just done and just put the floor straight on. You're going to have to place a full concrete wall on one side, but you've got to keep one small wall. Then you're going to place an upper floor and a small floor on one side. And you're going to remove the upper floor and build across with small floors until you're in the center. Then remove the outside floors and the large wall. Then place all of your walls back on the bottom of the stand. You can already see this thing sort of tapes, taking shape. Gets in front of my face and tries taking me out. Right, as you can see now we have got like the base for where our statue is going to stand. But now we've got to do the rest of what we need to do. So what we're going to do again is remove one wall. It doesn't matter what wall, any wall. And then just place a small generator inside. It fits it perfectly. And, but this is an important bit. You're going to have to place a wall or any sort of power conduit on the inside and then attach it to the generator so you spread the power. Then once you've done that, that's the inside's finished. Then you're just going to need to place your wall back. It might be a bit of an annoying thing to place back because it just kind of gets in the way of the generator and stuff. So make sure it does snap on the outside. And yeah, that's about it for the bottom. Moving on, you're going to need to have at least 10 copper so you can place one of these statues. You could put something else up there, but I recommend just putting a statue. I use the Minutemen one mostly. You're just going to want to place it as much in the middle as you can. Just eyeball it. Don't bother trying to do any special measurement. It'll look fine if you eyeball it like I did. Alright, then what you're going to need to do using some of the vanilla game lights, you're going to place these industrial wall lights all the way around one on each side this is just to make it a bit lighter around the area so you could have some seating or something maybe but we also need to illuminate the statue this is where one of the cooler lights from wasteland workshop comes into place the small subway floor lights or track lights or whatever they're called if you place one of these on each corner well not corner each like full side and aim it towards the statue it will actually illuminate it quite well. It looks really nice in my opinion. It might take you a while to like just move your stairs around to get like up there and down and stuff. So it's a kind of just a bit of tinkering but once you get it done it's way worth it. It's one of my favourite little settlement decorations you can make really. Because it's kind of resource heavy just because of how much copper and things you need but if you have a lot of space you might as well build one of these it looks amazing so that's about it you might you want to make sure that your lights are mostly aligned to the middle but if they're not it doesn't matter too much but it'll just be better if they are so anyway guys that's about it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you have any other suggestions of what you want me to play or make next in fallout leave a comment down below i'm going to be doing some sort of a playthrough thing so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.